You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. I think we match up very well. Uh, I think uh, up front, it's going to be a good competition. Both sides got good sized kids up there that have had experience. Niles North is a nice matchup for us because we know those kids. You know, we've done camps together, uh, we run some clinics for our youth kids, so, so we get to know them over the years. Uh, they're very skilled athletically, too. They're a high, uh, high powered offense. They pass the ball and run the ball very well, but I think uh, if we come out ready to go, doing our jobs and flying around to the ball, getting turnovers, we're going to do a heck of a job stopping that offense. We need to, to hold on and control the ball, and uh, we need to create some turnovers on defense. I think special teams is going to be the, you know, always the third phase of the game, but it's going to, uh, we need to make some big plays on special teams and limit theirs. It's a fun rivalry for the family, the community, and we look forward to the fun game and the fun atmosphere that it brings every year and uh, hopefully for a good victory. It is a bright and sunny day along the North Shore, and we are ready for some football action. The Battle of District 219 Schools, a pair of one and one teams as the Wolves of Niles West come across Skokie to take on the Vikings of Niles North, part of our CN100 Game of the Week. And welcome into our broadcast alongside former Northwestern running back Don Johnson. I'm Matt Rodewald. And for this one, if it's anything like we saw a year ago, get ready for some fireworks. Well, you know, this, this team brings on a two rivals that are always outstanding. I can remember my, my days at Terminal Park at youth football. That's where a lot of these players come from. And they come right here to Niles North and Niles West. So you're going to see a heated challenge today, Matt. You're going to see some good football and a great rivalry, intra-district rivalry. And we can see some explosive offense as well. Let's start with Niles West and the Wolves coming into this one. A one and one team here trying to right the ship here against Niles North. Well, Johnny Paps is the guy that's going to do it for him at quarterback. but. Really, what their offense has got to get going, running the football, and they like putting the ball in the air. And those teams, two things have to work for them in sync for them to be effective today. A lot of coverage for the Vikings because of the offensive weapons they have. Niles North, they want to put a show out, out there. Yeah, the Vikings are always explosive offensively. A year ago, we saw Dawkins put up five touchdowns. He won't be here today. They'll miss his all-purpose yardage. But we've got some other weapons. You're going to see that on display. Three receivers to the top once again to give this time. Shields Isaac with a big hole and a first down, and he tries to cut outside of a tackler, gets all the way down to the 21-yard line, and a big pickup for Yanif Shields Isaac. The senior running back gets the first down and flips the field. The trip spreads the field, so there's nothing in the middle once you break the secondary, and that's what Isaac shows you. A guy who can run the ball and make people miss in the secondary is dangerous out of the trips because everybody is on the edge of the field, nobody in the center of the field. They have to honor the trip, so you have to have at least one man out there on each receiver. Big third down, a third and goal from the 17. They throw it back to the right, try to get a screen set up for Wade. He eludes a tackler pushing to the goal line, and he'll get all the way into the end zone. The touchdown for Barrington Wade as he shakes off a tackler and goes 17 yards to Pater. They go backside on the screen to Wade. He shakes the tackle and gets into the end zone just inside the pylon. This is like a misdirection because they take it in the back door over here and there's Wade shaking a tackle there at the line of scrimmage. Breaks another tackle and gets in at the pylon. Just good acceleration, good power that young man has in finishing and play number 22. Marcus Taylor. He'll throw now to the right. LaBelle the catch, cuts in, room to run, almost to midfield, and a lot of room in the outside. He gets there, foot race towards the sideline. Yanov Shields Isaac's trying to make the stop, and they trip him up inside the 20-yard line. A nice catch and run there, flipping the field for about 50, 48 yards to be exact. Good call, well conceived. Jordan LaBelle out here on the flank. They get it to him quickly. And then he gets up field with a nice block and watch this cut against the grain. That's really what sets it up. He gets a nice block and then he turns on the Jets and gets it down into Niles West territory. Credit Shields Isaac for not giving up on that play. Shields Isaac turns the corner and punches it into the end zone. A touchdown for Yanif Shields Isaac. Seven yard scamper into the end zone. And a little more of improvement for Niles West. 
And here's Isaacs, he bounces it outside and then cuts it back up, squares his shoulders, gets in the end zone. Nice piece run, here's another look at it. Gets a good block at the line of scrimmage. And I like the way he ran in that series. And he looks like he's in a good rhythm. Wade again through the middle, big hole and a lot of room to run. It's a foot race to the end zone and no one's gonna get him. 83 yards for Barrington Wade and the touchdown for the Vikings. But watch, when he hits the seam, he just shifts into another gear. He runs past three guys and just outruns them. That's, a, I mean, that's pure athleticism there. Hard to run away at that level. When you see a running back to get to that first level and that second level and to know that once he gets past level one, that's it. That's it. You're not catching him. No, that, and uh, you can see him. He just legged him out on that one. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.